Hello everyone, Marius here. In today's video I'm gonna show you how you can play Wolfenstein 2 in VR. Let's go. Mr. Lee. But first off, before any of that, I have to warn you, this is only for those of you who have NVIDIA graphics cards. The reason for that is that this mod uses something in the NVIDIA drivers to work. Something called 3D Vision, I believe it's called, Vulcan 3D Vision, uh, which is uh, NVIDIA's uh, kind of like, uh, what's it called, stereoscopic 3D uh, drivers. So this was for the like um, uh, 3D monitors uh, back in the day. Uh, that being said, uh, this only works if you have a Turing or an Ampere NVIDIA GPU. That is, GTX 1600 series, RTX 2000 series, and RTX 3000 series graphics cards. Um, so you cannot play this with an uh, AMD GPU. Okay, that out of the way. Um, this mod is awesome. Like, goddamn, is it good. Like, this has to be the best graphics I've seen in VR, except for Half Life Alex. Like, seriously, even though, though the game is from uh, 2017, it looks extremely pretty, man. And the performance is exceptional. Like, really good performance. And just the game itself is freaking awesome. Like it's uh, a really, really good first person shooter, man. <laughs> so yeah, like this is just uh, one of the best VR mod experiences out there, period. Um, yeah, that is my opinion. But like the mod author here, uh, the creator of the mod, has gone to such lengths to make this as playable as it is. Like I see it everywhere and like he's done like the foveated rendering to increase performance, uh, used upscaling to get the performance as good as he can and like everything. Um, so yeah, and it really pays off. Like the game looks beautiful and plays extremely well. And I'm playing this on a laptop with everything on high. So yeah. Um, and other than that, like the overall experience with the mod is extremely good for me. Um, like the cutscenes being displayed on like a monitor floating in space in front of you is kind of like normal now in many like flat screen to VR mods and they even did it with like Resident Evil 4 and it, the way they did it here works really well as well um, yeah but it kind of like it, it works for those set pieces but when you have like cutscenes where you're in stereoscopic 3D um, that looks great, uh, but when you're when they're like changing scenes, and this is in many other VR mods as well, you get like this black screen in front of you, um, but the the game doesn't fade to black, so you see things that you're not supposed to be seeing, uh, like in flat screen, because in flat screen it just fades to black, right? So. It looks extremely stupid because then you will all of a sudden like fall through the level or something, <laughs> right? Right? The game totally breaks when it, when it's supposed to fade to black, so it can be a little bit hilarious as well. So it's not like a big deal, but yeah, that's like one of the negatives for me. And it looks like I I really like uh, playing this with a gamepad and like aiming with my head. I've talked about this previously. Like I really enjoy. The game, the flat screen to VR mods that allow you to do that. Uh, and this one works really well with the head aiming. However, like the gun doesn't follow your head uh, always. 
uh, and then it can look a little bit stupid when you're like aiming your head at someone and firing and you're obviously hitting <laughs> the character but your gun is like aimed in an opposite direction that can look a little bit stupid but it's not like game breaking in any way uh, last time I tried this mod um, there wasn't any reticle like there wasn't any um, like thing to look at when you're aiming uh, what's that called yeah reticle um, so you would like have to aim blindly and that was like I just had to put the VR mod away it looked just as beautiful graphically but that was such a big issue for me that I couldn't play it thankfully that has been fixed uh, last time I played it I also tried playing with motion controls and I was not satisfied with that like it was a cool little uh, experiment but it did not work for me any well um, this time around I only tried playing with the gamepad I did not try to play with uh, the motion controls so um, yeah I can't tell you if that has gotten any better but uh, like play it with a gamepad man like the game was made to be played with with a gamepad or or mouse or and keyboard but when you have head aiming I really don't see why you would use mouse and keyboard like just play it with a gamepad and with head aiming um, yeah so like I only pretty much have positive things to say about this um, looks extremely good uh, plays wonderfully yeah so uh, how to install this mod uh, there's a link down in the description uh, to the site where you go to download it you head to um, uh, Wolfenstein 2 of course where it says um, virtual reality version 0 0.90 this is from the 19th of May 2022 uh, if you're watching this movie uh, at some point in the future, there might of course be a newer version of this mod and then you want to get that, right? Uh, so you just download it and then you'll get a zip file. Uh, the zip file, you will need uh, 7 zip to be able to open. Uh, so 7 zip is free so don't worry about that just get 7-zip really straightforward um, you will need to browse the archive inside of here and everything which is inside of this you just want to extract anywhere on your computer don't worry about where you're extracting it it doesn't matter okay so before trying to run this in VR you have to run Wolfenstein 2 in flat in flat screen like run the game regularly and you need to do a couple of things um, watch out you have to play this in windowed mode if you play it in full screen uh, the game will look weird uh, like huge pixels and out of focus and like everything so just <laughs> put it in window mode turn off vertical sync and turn off motion blur um, put max fps uh, at 230 and volumetric quality on no nothing higher than medium medium works just fine and resolution scale you want to uh, turn off some of these uh, settings you get access to uh, straight off when you head into the video settings in options and some of these you would need to gain access to through advanced settings okay all of this is listed in the readme just watch that you actually do all of this and if you're having any issues just look through it again <laughs> to see uh, whether or not you forgot anything because yeah i i had some issues with this stuff so um yeah um that out of the way once you've made these changes you can run 
the vk3dvision.exe, which, which was in the zip file you just extracted, right? Just keep that open and then boot up the game. The game will now boot up in your headset. Okay? And that's pretty much it. Um, some things that I struggled with. Um, if you want to turn off the like uh, information uh, stuff that's in front of you when you're using a gamepad, you just press down all of the like triggers on uh, the back of your controller, like your right bumper and left bumper and right trigger and left trigger all at once, and then it will take away the like uh, options stuff, like the VR uh, info options stuff. I don't know what to call it. And if you want to recenter, you just uh, click uh, like the right and left trigger at the same time. That's it. That's pretty much everything you need to know. <laughs> so, yeah. Do enjoy, folks. Like, this is one of the best VR mods. Really sad that the um, um, AMD users can't experience experience this mod because it's it is great yeah so yeah enjoy thank you guys for uh, watching this video and i'll catch you on the next one see ya Back in the